why didn't investigators look into McCarty sooner? And how does Greg Kelly's family feel knowing he was a close friend of their sons and never came forward? Well, joining us now is the Night Beats' Chris Betts. And Chris, you spoke with Greg's mom today. I did, Quita, and you would think that they would be angry, but instead they tell me they feel relief. Greg Kelly's mom, his girlfriend, and his girlfriend's family never once wavered in their public support of Kelly's innocence. And today they feel like they are one step closer to getting justice. We caught this moment by accident. Thank you. An emotional hug between two women who have fought for years to clear Greg Kelly's name. I mean, there was absolutely no doubt in my mind that he did it. Tracy Anderson's daughter, Gabri, has been in love with now 22-year-old Kelly since the eighth grade. They've stayed together through all of this. And he has changed her life, too, for the better. I mean, she's just become this young woman, um, a woman of God and a woman of faith and a woman that... Um, just is not afraid to stand up for what's right. She's not afraid. Hundreds of people stood up for Kelly when the accusations first began. We still believe that he's innocent. Family friend Pamela is one of them. We knew that the physical resemblance between Jonathan and Greg. Jonathan McCarty was a close friend of Kelly's, and it's hard for the family not to feel some anger toward the man police are now investigating for the very crime Kelly is serving time for. Betrayal. But as a man of faith. He's just this light in a very dark place. Anderson says Kelly believes there's a reason this has happened. He's in there to change people's lives and every time we visited there would be inmates going by saying this guy right here he has changed my life, changed my life. Now they hope to see his name cleared and Rosa Kelly's son set free. Yes, but we made it. Yep. And Stronger yes. than ever. That's yeah. for sure. And for sure with the grace of the Lord. Yes. We are here. And Kelly's mom tells me that he has been working on his associate's degree while in prison and has a full scholarship offered to a Christian college in California if and when he's set free.